Okay, here's a quick video on how to rapidly uh, figure out what columns you need out of a file. So I have a file here that I need to update. The file has 15 columns, but the file that will be doing the updating has a bunch more. Uh, so this is the file I need, need to update. And then here is the file that uh, has the updated information. So I have a total of 243 columns in this crazy file, but I'm just trying to update 15. So how how can I rapidly figure out which columns I need out of here and which I don't? Here's the easy way. So uh, insert a couple columns at the top. I'm going to use a match function. Match finds the uh, cell that you look for and the array you look for, it, and then it tells you where, where it found it. So it couldn't find that, right? And so then when match does find it, it returns the, um, the section that you found out. So it says the column multi underscore J, the number three, that tells you that it found this thing in the third their column and for the purposes of the demo, these were actually the right fields, right? So you can use match, but then this is not really easy to see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap an if um, is number in front of the match. So if it returns a number, that means it's found, right? So what I'm gonna do is if it's found, I'm just gonna return the number one. If it's not found, uh, I'm going to return double quotes. So then when I want to do that, it looks like, like this. Now that's a little easier to see, uh, but what's even easier is I'm going to drag this all the way out to the right and my data set. And then I'm going to put conditional formatting and I'm going to choose one of these things, right? So now what I have is the columns I want are red. The ones that I don't want are, are not red. Now what I could do here is I could hold down the control key and I could highlight these things, right? But I'm going to have to scroll and I'm going to have to click control and scroll again. So here's the here's the hack. If you zoom way out, I'm doing uh, the control button and um, mouse wheeling towards me. If I zoom way out like this, uh, I don't have to scroll nearly as much. I can move much faster. All right. So then if you, um, rather than kind of pulling the, the information over using a formula, if you want to kind of rebuild your updated file um, by using these structures that's intact, this is a nice, clean, quick, and easy way to do it. Zooming back in. So now here are my columns, but now if you notice what I've got is I've got 17 columns, but I really only need 15. The reason for that is that uh, I already know this. These two columns are the same. So these two columns over here with these two are the same. And I can test that really quickly by just going equals this equals that. And if those are true, it returns a true. I will click that all the way down the page. And then if I just uh, apply a quick filter, Go back up to the top. I can just look. Is there any falses? No. Is there any falses? No. Therefore, I don't need these whatsoever, and I can zap these as well. And so now, what I have. But lastly, I can say, okay, I know that these columns are in there, but are they in there in the right order? So if I now take off the um, the if is number wrapping, I should get a chronological ordering of numbers and it looks good, but what if I had hundreds of these things? The quick easy hack here is you just do this number minus that number. And if these are in perfectly chronological order, you'd always get the number one. It's also hard to see that. So again, we can click here, we can remove the conditional formatting and then we can click here and say, show me things in red. So if I had something that were different, like a two, right? It would immediately throw everything off. So the fact that everything is exactly the same red tells me that all of these are ones, which then tells me that all of these are in chronological order, which then means that I can go shift control down, grab all my data, go right over here to my update file and hit paste values. I did that, right? Copy over here and hit paste values. And there we go. Everything is up to date. I dumped a whole bunch of stuff out here that I don't need. And that's it. That's a nice, quick, easy way to take a whole bunch of columns from one file uh, and figure out if they belong in your new file and then remove the rest. Hope it helps.